Hello everyone. This is the automated etcher sketch. This was our ME470 project for winter of 2020. Uh, my name is Chase Ward and I worked with Chase Bolander and Tyler Wilson to build this. Um, we had two goals in mind. We wanted it to be able to draw a picture, uh, maybe do some other fun things as well. But also we wanted it to be able to erase itself too. Uh, we felt that would have been a really awesome feature to include. And uh, so to do that, it just flips over back and forth and uh, that does a pretty good job in, in and of itself. Right now we have it drawing a picture for you and uh, maybe see if you can figure out what it is. In case you're wondering on average, it takes about 10 to 20 minutes depending on what kind of a picture you're drawing and how much detail it has. And of course it's the Eiffel Tower, which is pretty neat. So we have a Raspberry Pi that's kind of the small little computer that creates the instructions on how to draw the picture. And it sends it to the Arduino, which then controls the stepper motors because it's really good at doing those kinds of operations. So with it we have three stepper motors and we also have an infrared receiver so we can use a remote. You might be wondering how we generate images for the Raspberry Pi 2 draw. And the first step is, is to turn it into a gray scale image and also shrink it down in resolution because the etcher sketch can't really handle a lot of detail. We then do a binary image algorithm which turns it only into black and white dots and we've got edge detection and we've got Floyd halftone and both of those do it in a different way and one does work better than the other. The last step is to use that binary image to create g-code or the instructions uh, that the Arduino needs to move the motors and make the image appear on the etcher sketch. We're using the nearest neighbor algorithm to create the paths that our etcher sketch follows to recreate the images. Now it's a greedy algorithm. If we were to just have it operate on the whole screen, it could potentially miss sections and it would have to go all the way back to a different section drawing a line across the screen. So to prevent that, uh, what people do is they, they break up the picture into small sections and for us it's three by three sections it'll visit each point one by one whichever one is closest to that point it'll visit and it then moves on to the next section and does the same thing until it's finished the whole entire picture right here we have the etcher sketch drawing the same picture but one has used edging for the image and the other one has used Floyd halftone to kind of demonstrate how well each one works and we generally prefer the edging. It seems to do the best job of, of representing what the picture looks like. Additionally, we also saw an opportunity to create some other fun little functions to add to the Etcher Sketch. And this one right here, all it does is generate random lines. And the Etcher Sketch will go from point to point. And it, it's a bit of a screensaver style thing. Um, it's kind of fun to watch. We also added a polygon drawing function as well. So every time you push the polygon button, it'll draw a random shape for you. The automatic etcher sketch also has a camera on it. It's that little green board mounted just to the right of the etcher sketch. And I've just taken a picture, and this is what I look like right now, uh, holding a calculator, of course, because it's my only friend during quarantine. And the Raspberry Pi will process the image, turn it into G code using edge detection, and draw it for us. So there's the picture again, so you can compare it. It's kind of fun. You can see my outline and also the calculator as well. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'd also like to thank my teammates. Uh, we all worked really hard on this, and we're really happy with how it turned out. And of course, I'd like to thank Brother Dean, our professor, too. Hope you guys have a good day.